host, Steve from the back, coming at you again with another rant. This is going to be a cryptid rant, kind of. This is also going to be a spiritual rant, and I guess there's I always leave room for um, leave room for whatever the rant's going to turn into what it is. Anyway, at the end of the, the day, it's going to be what it is. Oh, um, so you know. I always had the thought in my mind that, you know, you don't judge a man or a woman or whatever, <laughs> or, or thing, whatever, whatever's in between, I don't know, but you, are, you never judge someone on their sheer appearance. You don't judge someone by the color of their skin, obviously, right, but you judge someone by their character, right? You you judge a person or you judge an individual because if I say person, you know, that that that's not inclusive enough if I use the word person really. So I just have to say individual. You know, um, and remember this is a cryptid rant, so you can obviously kinda know where I'm going. Like, for instance, your pet dog is still an individual. I mean, it may not be that intelligent, but your dog still is part of society, right? I mean, it lives in your house. You know, you take your dog on the street. Obviously, your dog has behaved enough to a point to where it's, it's not known to be dangerous, hopefully, or so crazed that it can't integrate with society. You get the point, get the point, right? So, you know, the question is, why are people unevolved enough that they have extreme preconceived notions about something just because it doesn't really look like them, you know? So, I have to talk about in this rant about how, like, you know, um, Growing up in a Christian home, generally, things that were unknown were seen as taboo. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to think what I should really, how I should really word, like, word this, it, say this in a way without, like, It's kind of weird for part of me to say this. Because I'm just trying to, I'm trying to use my words carefully. Because I'm not, because the thing is, I'm not trying to, like, be super disrespectful or, or super offensive. Or I'm, not, I'm not trying to be that. I'm just trying to explain something. So, you know, I, I grew up in a Christian home. And generally, you know, things, things of a nature that were unknown were kind of very, very much frowned upon. Just like things that were considered occult, um, dark, or non-Christian, or in the Christian faith, often they will use the term demonic to describe something. And generally that's something that the person saying this has no knowledge of. So it's de it's deemed as demonic. Maybe they'll even go as far to use. The <laughs> it's kind of it makes me laugh, you know. Um, when I say satanic, because it's like <sighs> like there there like there's a lot to being a satanist. So you know, there's a lot that's real, and there's a lot that's just nonsense. And it. how do you know the in How do you know what's real and what's not if you don't actually ever research it, research it, or experiment with it yourself? And that's something many Christians are guilty of. Many people are just guilty of that in general. Like, they always will speak on something, but they really don't... They don't have the want, nor the courage, usually, to um, test something themselves before they develop a, uh, a very strong opinion on it. And the thing is, because of fear, they're so terrified. Like, I was terrified, actually, at certain points in my life. 
of the so-called demonic in what we would always call like darkness you know um literal darkness for at one point i was actually scared of scared of darkness itself because i was thinking that like it would, there's always this this and some christians will say no that's not a thing well i'd say yeah that is a thing you know what i mean it's like it's like certain cultural racial things like people say you know, it's like in front of their other races, they'll say, that's not really a thing, but then behind closed doors with those that are of the same race and culture, they keep it real. They're like, yeah, yeah, we all know that's a thing. Of course it's a thing. You know, it's like, yes, you know, you Christians are saying that darkness in itself, like, I mean, with the lights off, like darkness, you know, that um, that's more preferable for uh, demonic beings, that that's more preferable, preferable for demonic entities. Now, I will say there actually is some truth to that. There is some truth to that. But you also have to realize on the same coin that darkness in itself is a functional tool, and darkness in itself, I'm going to get scientific right now when I say this, when we're talking about beings that are not human, Darkness is a, is a place that they dwell just like how raccoons, deers, and possums, and any other nocturnal seeing beings like to dwell in simply as a mode of functionality. It's not like some spooky, scary thing like, well, you know, like the dark, like because you know you're, you feel vulnerable when you're in the dark because you can't see, literally, so you're like vulnerable. And that connects to part of your brain that makes you afraid then it's just a spiral effect you know it's instead of realizing that hey you know i guess i i guess i can't see that good in the fucking dark excuse my french you know it's like i can't see that good in the dark other things can <laughs> you know it's like kind of that simple you know, like your, your cat can see better than you your dog sees better than you it doesn't really go that much further than that now, there are other deep, deep things about that, but we're not going to even really talk about that in this video. So, yes, there is a connection to so-called demonic entities in the dark, in its most physical sense. Yes, there is. But on the same coin, there is also a connection to the dark and every other thing that lives. you got to understand that, okay? So... Even things that people claim they like, like their pet cats and their dogs and all that other crap that you claim that you like so much. You know, the cute little animals that come out at night that you claim you love so much, like, it's the same thing. So, I just had to, had to say that. But, now, I may put up a couple of pictures in this video, and these pictures are not real pictures, obviously. But if you do your research, you understand that, like, the possibility of an appearance like this is a very real and possible thing, and is a very likely conclusion to something. A visual, like a rough visual of something you may see, or you may have seen in your life. Because some people have seen these things. So this may not be like a shock to some people, maybe this is something that you have seen, something similar to this, you know what I mean? Um, not to a T, but just generally similar, very similar. And you know it couldn't have been a man. You know it wasn't a, a human woman or a man. You generally were probably a little, uh, what's the word, uh, intimidated, you're, you're scared. Which is kind of natural. But the point of this rant, just like a lot of rants, is to get you out of that, like, fight or flight natural, supposed mind state and try to put you in a state of understanding so maybe you can like start to start to open up different avenues of your ways of thinking and you could think like clearly and critically in a more calm and don't just go crazy with your thoughts and just go wild that, that type of paralyzing wild fear is not really a healthy thing. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to teach people to. I'm trying to teach people to like come from a position of power. Like when you're when you see or think about something, I'm trying to teach you to 
come from a position of stability, power, and strength to where you're not like so rattled that you just lose all composure because that right in itself is a complete shit show. That's how things fall apart. When you lose all composure is when bad shit happens. You know, that, that's when that's when failures happen. You know, when failure happens, bad shit happens. You know, so that shouldn't be a that shouldn't be like a surprise to you. So you know, as I'm showing these images, I'm gonna also explain that, like, you know, would it surprise you if that, even in your own bloodline, right, as a human being, would it surprise you that there, there are, see, and some people are like, I'm clicking off this video right now, <laughs> I'm, I'm off this video, well, leave the video. Would it make you feel, what, how would it make you feel if you really knew that some of you watching this video, some of these supposed things or creatures were some of your ancestors, right? How would that make you feel? How would it make you feel that something that at the very sight of it supposedly makes people faint? You know, terrified, whatever. How would it make you feel to know that some of those very things are your actual long, long distant ancestors, actually? That the very blood that's in your veins right now, some of your DNA comes from those things, right? How would how would you feel about that? <laughs> What, what do you would you feel negative thoughts? Would you not believe it? Maybe have you always known it possibly? P possibly, maybe you've always known this. Maybe you just never um, t told anyone. Maybe you had an encounter with one. I don't know. That could be a possibility. Maybe you had an encounter with one, and you were so let's just say you were so 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 Christian that when you had an encounter with one of these things that you didn't even believe anything else than what you were taught as a Christian. Maybe you said, oh, this is a demon. I, I encountered a demonic entity. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I encountered a demon. Oh my God, I saw a demon. You know, because uh, you just didn't understand, because you had a totally ignorant understanding. Complete ignorance, you know, just straight up ignorance. Ignorance 101, your picture in the dictionary by the word ignorant. And you just, instead of feeling honored and feeling like, wow, you know, I just had an encounter with an uh, uh, interdimensional being. You know, I had an encounter with a being that has abilities that are like, supernatural. You know what I mean? I, I, I just had an encounter with a being that is so immensely physically powerful that if it wanted to harm me or my family or do something more sinister, it could have, but it didn't. It just passed me over. It didn't. It didn't harm me, and it went about its business, right? Even maybe not. Maybe not happy. Maybe may could have thrown a tantrum, possibly. Maybe could have been angry at you. Maybe could have sensed your animosity towards it, honestly, and sensed your fear, and you know, it, it just kind of like a, a you know a normal person just kind of just walked on and kept going and just went about its way like that happens a lot right? instead of looking at it like that maybe you looked at it from this wild crazy christian perspective and maybe it scarred you maybe it emotionally mentally and physically to some degree physically could have still scarred scarred you the experience and that doesn't have to be a thing. So this is kind of like a cryptid rant, but it's also kind of an occult rant. And if you didn't know, this is a satanic channel. So, now I will be honest with you. There was a point in my life where I tried to pass this off as a Christian channel, thinking that I could be a sly motherfucker. A little sly motherfucker like I thought I could possibly be 
and think that I could fool people into watching videos on the basis of claiming that there's any remnants of Christianity <laughs> on this channel to see what happens. Because I like to experiment with things. I like to see, like, what, what, how can I make someone's brain do a certain thing? You know, like, what, what's going to be the outcome? You know, I'm kind of, kind of weird like that. So, but that didn't seem to work. So, the cat's out the bag. It's been out the bag for a long time. I mean, you figure, I figure someone smart would have caught on anyway. But this is a satanic channel. Now, I'll also say channels that are cryptid channels and they're Christian. I respect them. I may not agree with their beliefs, but I I, I do very much uh, highly esteem these channels and some of these people that run these channels. Mostly because at the end of the day, you're this is a, I'm not saying this to be in a disrespectful, fucked up way, but I'm trying to say that even though you may have diametrical beliefs and you think that the work you're doing alerting people about these beings because they do exist and you can leave the, you can leave this channel right now if you if you want to you can say this guy's crazy you're saying that monsters exist you're saying these aliens exist you're saying these things exist that's horseshit that's sci-fi there's no way that's fine if you believe that but i know the truth so i'm trying to tell you something these things exist 100 percent just as much as you and i exist just as much as your pet dog, your pet cat exists, these type of beings exist. But, what I'm trying to really get across to you is, if you're one of those channels that is promoting, telling people about the existence of these things, you're doing me a favor because me, at some parts, being of a different path, being Satanist, um, trying to learn things about the occult and certain practices, I also, I all too well know the importance, to some degree, because there are black and white areas, there's gray area in this, I understand the importance of trying to enlighten people about the existence of certain things for certain reasons, okay? To tell, tell them the truth, to tell them like, okay, this exists, okay? It's, it's real, so, you know, yeah, I'm gonna try to tell you that. By, regardless of what religion you are, by you simply giving people knowledge of these experiences, you're kind of helping me at the same time, because you're, you're opening their brain to the existence and possibility of certain things. And like a domino effect, once your mind is open, and you realize something exists that you thought was insanely impossible to exist, you're like, there's no way that could be real, and you find out it's real, you're gonna start asking more questions like, okay, so then, what else in this world is real that I thought was just not existent in it? What else? And what else? You know, and as you open that thought process, that's going to, could potentially lead you in the direction I, a person like me, may desire a person to go into. That's a mouthful, and it hurt my brain to say all of any of that, <laughs> to be honest. To be honest, that just hurt my fucking brain. But I, maybe you understood what I'm saying. So let's get off of that and let's keep keep it going. So basically, as a Christian, raised in a very loving but very ignorant, I'll have to keep it real, very loving but very ignorant Christian family, I was taught many things so much bullshit, you know, so much horseshit, like, like, so much horseshit, that I literally sit here right now, and if I were to lay down and get relaxed, I could envision, I could, I could imagine and envision a world where the beliefs that they hold so dear to their heart, even to their grave, would be laughable, like, by any normal standard, any human being believing those things, it would be so comical. That it's not even funny that they would actually believe those things, or their perspective would be that perspective. You know, you think of years of pews, church hats, peacock feathers, fans, Pentecostal music, organs, and drums, and days and days and days and days of so-called worship, 
beliefs, just dinners, all this action, all this motion going on of years and years and years and years. If ignorance, pure ignorance, calling it Christian, pure straight up ignorance, enthralled, mixed in with black culture, black people like myself, just all in the mix of a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of bullshit. Man. Not that the people themselves are, well, they're ignorant. It doesn't mean that they're dumb, they're just ignorant. So it's like, you know, they're good people too, it's just that they, they're just ignorant. So, this is to break a little bit of the ignorance and talk some actual knowledge at you. You know, tell you some actual fucking truth. And just tell you the truth, man. You know, these these, these images, you're like... Now, I, like I'll say again, these are not real images. These are images that were either photoshopped, created an AI system, or whatever. But it gives you an idea of something. Now, these people are just as much people as you and I. There's not, they're just as much what you could call individual or citizen, just as much as me or you. And I would say maybe even more of a, a rightful citizen of this earth in other places than maybe even us ourselves. But the thing is, is that, see, we as people have always been ignorant. Always ignorant things we don't understand, um, and we always fear things we don't understand, and even to the point of just being completely un intolerable and vicious, like we all know human beings can be, just like other beings can be the same way, just vicious and intolerable. But I'm gonna keep this rant short. I, I think I'm gonna keep it short because it feels it feels like it's going on long enough. Um, like most of my rants, I feel like it's just, they're just long-winded and like I'm thinking, who who actually would sit through any of this shit? Like who actually is gonna sit here and listen to any of this nonsense? Not that it's nonsense, but I mean to to most people it just sounds like nonsense. So, I mean, who, who's gonna fucking like even listen to this? But for those who the rare few that actually listen to some shit like this, um. From a, you know, suppose nobody. Now, I'm trying to tell you that like, there's another way, there's another path that you don't have to be afraid. See, when you're afraid of something like that and you're paralyzed by something like that by fear, that's a place of weakness in a place of um, it's a it's a self degrading place. Like, why would you degrade yourself? By being a coward. You know, it's okay if you choose to be a coward, but for me it's not okay, and I'm telling you for those of you who are not okay with that, here's a better option. Like, look at something right right in the eyes. Look it in the eyes. Look at yourself. Look back into this creature's eyes. And then realize that like <laughs> Okay, if there was something to really be so afraid of, then maybe it would have happened already. Like maybe something would have happened. If you if you can't sit in a completely dark room, right? And connect yourself to the so-called unknown, the so-called demonic darkness, whatever you want to call it. If you can't be comfortable in that. I have, I have serious questions to ask about you, like, as a per as a person, honestly, like, deep down, like, I really have some questions to ask, like, because to me it sounds like there's some cowardice there, you know, like, you gotta understand, there, there, there's some, um, there's some things that need to be dealt with there, that you really need to just face, see, this is about, like, facing something, like I said, literally, you may not ever come in contact with any of these things literally, but you might, and like I said, you know, you just have to, you just have to face something that's in front of you, you know, it's like, because running from it, making notions, like, up, like, that you don't know about or facts, like, you're just, you're just saying things, thinking things that are negative, it, without asking or actually really testing these things, that's not doing yourself any favor as anything, 
man, woman, whatever, it's it's as a any type of being, you're you're not doing yourself any favors. You are only making yourself a pussy, number one. You're making yourself fucking weak, and you are disgracing your own self. It's like you're degrading your own self in that moment, you know, with fear. You know, I'm just saying that. I shouldn't really even have to go on with this rant. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna. For those of you who actually understood anything I said in this rant, and this is a cryptid rant, it is. This is a cryptid rant now. Remember that. It may be comical, but it still is. Cryptid rant. You get what I said, right? Now take that shit to heart. Think on that shit. This is your host, Steve from the back, and have a nice day.